Hi everyone, my name is Kayla Marjeski and I work at Capital One doing commercial real estate underwriting. At Capital One, I had the chance to live in a few different cities, including New York City and Washington DC, but right now I'm living at home with my family on Long Island. Just to give you a little bit of background of exactly what commercial real estate underwriting means, is it's my job to determine the risk associated with certain pieces of commercial real estate. Some examples of commercial real estate are office buildings, so this could be the skyscrapers that you pass on the city street. It could also be a retail shopping center with maybe your local grocery store or even an apartment building that you know friends and family may live in. So to determine the risk, we have to figure out a certain dollar amount that we would be comfortable lending to this type of property based on a bunch of different factors. So that's where spreadsheets come into play to help us out. Now that you have a little bit of an understanding of exactly what I do every day, I'm gonna to talk to you today about what it means to be professional and some tips for proper workplace etiquette. To me, there are three characteristics that I think are most important when it comes to professionalism, and those are respect, reliability, and communication. So I'm trying, going to try and explain why these three things are very important using a short story. So let's imagine you're in a team meeting with a couple of colleagues and maybe your manager as well. You're discussing an important meeting that's coming up that needs to be presented to a larger audience. Your colleagues suggest that the slides you put together for this presentation should just be a couple of bullet points on a slide, just words thrown on a page. However, you disagree with this idea and think it might be better to present your information using charts and graphs. It's up to you to respectfully tell your colleague why you think using charts and graphs might be a better idea and get the point across a little bit better to the audience. It's very important that you don't put down your colleague's ideas in a negative or a harmful, mean way. It's very important to respectfully explain to them why you think your idea might be a little bit better but you still wanna always value and take into consideration their ideas. That's very important in the workplace and helps to display professionalism and respect, most importantly. The second thing that I think is most important when it comes to professionalism is reliability. Now, in this team meeting, since you came up with the idea that using charts and graphs might be the better approach, your manager puts these tasks on you and asks you to complete these charts and graphs for the presentation by the deadline. It's very important that your manager can rely on you to complete this work in order to have it done for the team meeting. If your manager can't rely on you and trust you to get this done, he might not give you work in the future that would help you to promote professionalism and bring you up in the workplace. So definitely always take accountability for the work you are assigned. The third thing that I'll touch on when it comes to professional professionalism is communication. So during this team meeting, as you can see, you had a very open dialogue with your manager and your colleagues. Having this open line of communication is super important in the workplace and helps to make sure the most efficient outcome is achieved. If you didn't speak up and maybe respectfully tell your colleague why charts and graphs would be better for this presentation, you might not have come to this outcome. So definitely always say your opinions and your ideas in a respectful way and keep that open line of communication. Now, I want you to think about ways that you can promote professionalism, maybe in the classroom with friends and family. Don't forget respect, reliability, and communication when it comes to professionalism, and always demonstrate these qualities whenever you can. Thank you.